Hey y'all, it's Mars. Today I'm here to talk about Bandcamp. And you might be wondering why I'm coming to talk about Bandcamp. Well, that's because my recent video, which I made about Bandcamp, of course, which got a few thousand views. There were a few people who were either dreading Bandcamp or wondering about Bandcamp or nervous for Bandcamp. And I thought, why not make a video talking about Bandcamp and giving out advice to newer players. So if you don't know me, hi, my name is Mars. I have been in marching band for the past two years. I'm going into my third year of marching band. I have played synthesizer in the front ensemble for those both years. Last year I was a solo player. The year before I had a partner who was also playing synthesizer. This year I will also be a solo player, only playing, being the only person playing an electron instrument in my marching band. So, while I might be in front ensemble, I still know what goes on at band camp, and I can still help you in your guide to learning about band camp. All right, so first of all, I just want to give a disclaimer that every school's band camp is different. Your school might do things that my school doesn't, and my school might do things that your school doesn't, but there is generally a clear general consensus that band camp is, like what band camp does. So generally, band camp is during the summer before school and it is generally takes place for a few weeks. It is generally very lengthy and they generally go through music stuff such as scales, drill, and of course, the marching show all right so first of all do not fear band camp band camp is not that bad if we're being honest so depending on the instrument you're playing band camp could be from a very very strenuous tiring experience to something a lot more chill for me my band camp is quite chill because of course I don't generally march, but when it comes to marching, I do know how to do it. I have marched before. I know what the practice for marching looks like because I have been through it in my quest to join the battery, which I sadly never could. And I can definitely give you some tips on it. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the supplies you're going to need for band camp. One big thing you're going to need is water. Let me show you my band water bottle that I bought during our meeting my first year. So this right here is an igloo. Right here. And this is what it looks like. And this is 64 ounces. This is the type of water bottle that you should be bringing to band camp. It's actually better if you bring a gallon water bottle, but those can be pretty hefty and big. So 64 ounces is passable for band camp. You do not want to bring anything lower than 64 ounces. Trust me, even if you don't think you drink a lot of water, you will once it's band camp time. You're also going to want sunscreen. I don't care how black you are. I don't care if you're the same color as my shirt, you still need sunscreen and make sure to get the sweat and waterproof sunscreen because yes, you will be sweating a lot and yes, you might end up getting water on you. So you're gonna make sure you want sunscreen. The spraying kind is pretty good, but if you wanna put it on your face, you're probably gonna want the lotion kind. Another thing you're gonna to want to bring to band camp is you're going to want to bring a binder or a folder or something. And why do you want to bring a binder or a folder? Well, because you're probably going to be receiving some music during band camp, whether it's in the form of scales, in the form of the show, you're going to probably be receiving some music. So make sure to bring that. Also make sure to bring anything instrument specific. For example, if you're a trumpet, which believe it or not, I was a trumpet um, around five years ago, you're gonna to wanna to bring stuff like valve oil, those little scrubby things, that little wiping thing, the spray, that type of stuff. 
you're going to want to make sure that your case and everything is checked your instrument is working and bring anything specific to your instrument if you're a percussionist you're going to want to bring multiple sticks you're going to want to bring mallets you're going to want to bring drumsticks both marching and regular and you're probably going to want to bring timpani and marimba and like hard mallets but it's passable if you only bring soft mallets and drumsticks when you're a percussionist if you're a percussionist like me um you really don't need it that much but you know it's always good to have the type of stuff because you know you might need to use it so make sure that all your instrument related supplies are in check you're also probably going to want to carry a backpack to carry this type of stuff in. If you're a girl, make sure to bring pads, tampons, menstrual cup, whatever you use for your period, make sure to bring it because you know periods can survive us and you do not want to have a period surprise during the band day. Also, bring some games. I know this is not really something you need for camp necessarily, but like bring something fun, bring a sketchbook, bring games, bring a tablet, bring something that you can entertain yourself with. Because believe it or not, you're probably not going to be just marching and drilling and playing the whole entire time. You're going to have some periods of time where you're gonna be eating or doing other things. So you wouldn't want something to have fun with. Also, you're probably going to want to go ahead and bring food. If your band camp provides food, you're gonna to want to make sure that you know that. If you don't know if they provide food, make sure that you're bringing food every day and it never hurts to bring snacks. Make sure to bring something healthy, something full of protein, stuff like fruits, protein shakes, protein bars, peanut butter, bread, that type of stuff, bring that. And if you bring those things, you should basically be set for band camp. Also bring anything instrument specific. Hats and sunglasses can be a brick helper during band camp because of course the sun's probably gonna get in your eyes. I don't care what section you're part of, make sure that you bring those things. All right, next let's talk about pre-band camp preparation. Yes. You should be preparing for band camp before it actually starts. You should be preparing by practicing your instrument and by drinking lots of water and practicing exercises. Because you do not want to just jump into band camp and you're going into all this new stuff that you don't know and your body's not ready for. Good exercises to do before band camp are of course walking you know just take a walk around your neighborhood or something like that um any sort of core strengthening exercises arm strengthening exercises definitely because no matter what section you're part of there's going to be a lot of strain on your arms and on your legs so stuff like push-ups sit-ups twists that type of stuff we have this workout that we generally do before every single um, band practice and it generally involves jumping jacks, um, twists, pairways. Is that what they're called? Um, and like balancing exercises, definitely. You're going to definitely want to build up your balance and you can do that by um, standing on one foot and that type of stuff. And you're also going to want to make sure to practice your instrument. Doesn't matter if you don't have your music yet, just practice basic skills and basic warm ups. It's that easy. And just practice for maybe a few minutes every single day. Also, drink water. You're going to want to get yourself used to drinking large amounts of water. Of course, don't drink a bunch of water at one time because water poisoning is a thing. And if you drink a bunch of water and your body does not have enough time to get rid of it, you're gonna hurt yourself, so don't do that. And that's how you prepare for band camp. Also, let me show y'all how to march real quick because 
it's marching band. All right, so despite being in front ensemble, I have went through the marching music classes. So I'm gonna show you how to march. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you have at least two feet of, of um, space between your legs every single time you take a step. All right. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're marching is you're going to want to go forward with your left foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Make sure there's two feet of space between it. So when you go down, you're gonna to wanna to lift up. Make sure you're bending your knees, staying balanced. The thing that you should make us do is this. They make us stand with one heel up and our toes up like this. So you're gonna to wanna to practice standing in this particular position, which is hard. I'm in front of ensemble again, so it is hard for me to do that. But yeah, practice standing in this position and keeping your balance. This is the position you're gonna be standing in when you're marching. You're gonna be moving. All right, so we have a chant for our march. I'm gonna teach y'all the chant. Depending on the BPM, you're gonna say faster or slower. But the chant is left, 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 right, left. So it's going left, 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 right. I can't really walk that far over here because it's in my kitchen. And you're gonna want to make sure that when you say left, your left foot's touching the ground, and when you say right, your right foot is touching the ground. All right, got it. Now let's go back to my face. All right, I hope that demonstration of marching helped. And another good exercise to practice during the summer is simply listening to music. Listen to any song that's your favorite song. Like listen to WAP for all I care. Just listen to a song and practice marching to the beat of that song. Marching in time, marching correctly. If you are in front ensemble, um, don't really worry about that. Although you likely will be marching at some point during a parade. So make sure to, you know, from time to time practice marching, even when you're just walking, you can just walk around your neighborhood put on some music or even just sing something and practice marching to that beat. And of course, remember left, 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 right, left. Also some other tips. Make sure to practice. <clears throat> when you get your music in your drill in band camp, do not be afraid to practice at home. Like I know that band camp is really long and strenuous, but if you're having trouble with something, Make sure to work through it on your own. When the group is practicing, it's time for y'all to like wrap everything up. Not the time for you to be working through your individual things. So anytime there's free time, make sure that you're working through the parts that you're struggling with, struggling through a particular part of the drill, make sure to work through individually. Or, you know, if you have section mates who are willing to work with you or your leader, you know, work through it with them. Also, another thing, band camp is not a time to do diets or to starve yourself or any of that. Make sure to eat enough for the day because you're going to be burning a lot of calories. I don't care how big or how small you are, make sure that you're eating the amount that your body needs for each day. If you feel hungry and there's food to eat, eat. Bring snacks. Bring water. Make sure that when you're out practicing on that field that you are drinking water. Even when you don't feel thirsty, drink water. When there's a water break, drink as much water as you can during that water break. And if you're starting to feel lightheaded or nauseous or anything, make sure to take a break. Like, don't just walk out in the middle of a drill or anything, but it's okay to like tell your section leader or your drum major or your band director, you know, I just need a break. You don't want to be that person passing out or throwing up or anything during band camp. Also, before band camp, make sure to get your physical. If you have not gotten a physical um, in the last year or longer, or if your physical will be expiring 
some point during the summer, make sure to get a new physical. If you're under 18, make sure to remind your parents to take you to go get your physical. You can go get a physical at like Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, and they usually cost around 20 to $30. You can even get them at your school. I know that my school does have physicals. Um, if it's during the summer, the date might have passed for y'all, but keep in touch and everything. Also, make sure that you're checking your emails because chances are your director might be sending things during the summer. I know that my director has sent a few emails this summer and yours might have too. So if you're going to band camp soon, make sure that you're checking your emails. Um, if your section has a group chat, make sure that you're in that group chat at this point. Or make sure you know how to get into the group chat. Any apps you need to download, I know that we use Remind, GroupMe, and stuff like that. Make sure that you have downloaded those apps. Make sure that you're set up with your section. Make sure that you know who you're going to be marching with during band camp. And if you're like a really new player who didn't go to the school beforehand, um, just make sure you got in touch with the director and everything. You know the dates. Make sure those dates are on your calendar. Everything. You do not want to forget um, what band camp is and you don't want to be out of touch. So make sure that you're staying in touch. So now that we've gotten the more mechanical, more formal stuff out of the way, let's talk about the social aspect of band camp. Bandcamp is likely going to be long. It's likely going to be, I know our Bandcamp, we have like five days or 13 hours and 30, and 30 minutes. Like, it's long as well. So make sure that you are actually socially connecting with the people in your section. I know that you're just here to march or whatever, but these people, whoever's in your section especially, those people are going to be the people that you're going to be spending hours upon hours of your time. Those people might also be in your class also. And you do not want to start problems with anybody in the band, particularly if that person's in your section. Because trust me, you don't want to go in there and just be getting stink eyes and all sorts of stuff from people in your section. You don't want to be starting any problems. Um, you're going to be with these people crazy hours of the day. You're going to be with them really early in the morning, really late at night. You do not want to cause any sort of problems. Also, do not date anyone in your section. Preferably not in the band at all. But at least do not date anyone in your section. I know you might think, oh, that's my pookie. Oh, they're so cute. We love each other so much. But you cannot guarantee that it's going to be like that forever. And if y'all break up, it's just going to bring a bunch of problems to the band. Not only for y'all too, but for everybody else. Because when y'all are fighting, when y'all are getting upset, when y'all are starting drama, that disturbs everybody else. And you do not want to do that. Make sure that you're learning the names of the people in your session. Like even the people you don't think you're going to be friends with. Memorize their names. What I like to do, because I have trouble remembering, remembering names, is I repeat them multiple times. For example, I met someone named Andy. I say, hi, Andy. Repeat Andy, 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 Andy. Even write it down if possible. Like, if you really struggle with remembering names and facts about people, like, get a book, write the person's name down, write a few facts about them, like, you know, their instrument, um, if they have siblings, like, you know, just basic things that you might ask someone you just met. Um, definitely be nice with people in your section. Don't just ignore them. Don't be mean to them. Um, ask people questions about themselves talk to people, try to interact with people. That's why I say that you should bring games to banking because during those free time periods, you don't want to just be sitting around on your phone or reading books or whatever. Actually do something with the people in your section. Like, you know, say hi. Um, ask them if they want to play a game. Also, make sure that you know who your leaders are. And make sure to listen to your leaders. You want your leaders to be on your side because they're the students with the most power in your section and you don't want to gosh bomb you there. Um, even if you don't like your leaders, 
still bear with them, of course, if they're doing something that you don't like. Speak up, tell a higher up about it. And even if you're not a leader, make sure to be a leader. Listen to your leaders, listen to your drum majors, listen to your band leaders. Listen to anybody with authority over you. Don't start no problems. And, you know, make sure to enjoy yourself. Like, I don't care how hot or sweaty or whatever you are, make sure to enjoy yourself. And everything. And remember that band camp is only temporary and one day you're probably gonna be wishing that you were out there at band camp because you're going to miss your band. And I really hope that, that this video was helpful to any freshmen, rookies, or curious people out there who are going to band camp this year and are worried about it. I'm going to band camp next week. I might actually vlog it. And if you're going to band camp and you used any tips in this video or you just want to talk about your experience, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. And if you have any more questions for me, I'll try my best to answer it, to answer them for you. All right, bye.